Welcome to Hamilton, Ontario, the ambitious city, the steel city. The next test for Canada and their quest for Qatar, match 10 of 14, comes against a familiar foe as your Canadian men's national team faces the United States. Your referees for today's match, Cesar Ramos of Mexico, 38 years old, out of Leon. Officiated the 2017 Club World Cup final and three matches at the 2018 World Cup, including a round of 16 tie between Uruguay and Portugal. For John Herdman's Canada side, four changes from Thursday's 2 0 win in Honduras. In come Kamal Miller, Richie Lorea, Mark Anthony Kay, who wasn't even in the 23 man squad on Thursday, and Jonathan Osorio, who picked up his 50th Canada cap as a second half substitute in St. Pedro Sula. It's a homecoming for Milan Borian, the first time the goalkeeper has played in his hometown in 17 years. Jonathan David and Kyle Aaron lead the line in a 4-4-2, with David coming off his wonder goal Thursday. He's just one away from 20 for country. For Greg Bearhalter, three changes from a 1-0 victory in Columbus over El Salvador for the U.S. In comes center back Miles Robinson, and the two other changes come up top. Brendan Aronson scored in the 1-1 in Nashville. He joins Jassy Zardes, the most experienced place player in the U.S. 11 with 67 caps. A talented group, but very young, an average age of 23 days, 23 years, sorry, in 255 days. Noah Tiba Hutchinson, he's rested. He's on a card. Look forward to him playing a role in El Salvador on Wednesday. Stefano Eustachio back with the Canadian men's national team. Didn't get him registered in time for him to play a part today. This rivalry, it's well established between the U.S. and Canada. From Bailey to Johnson on the track, fierce battles on the ice, an established, oftentimes tumultuous competition in the women's game. But for here and the men, it's bubbling and it's ready to burst. The atmosphere in Hamilton, top notch considering half capacity. 12 plus thousand are carrying the flag, representing the emotion, the feel of the entire nation. It's games like this that galvanize, that unite, that excite fans and supporters coast to coast to coast. Make no mistake, this Canada team has the dream of the World Cup and qualifying for it within their reach. And with a win today over a top team and a top rival, that will continue to raise that bar. That's the goal. That's what they believe they can do together. Embrace the challenge, embrace the occasion, and embrace the cold. Let's do this. In the house of Oski Wee Wee, it's O Canada, O Baby. Gareth Wheeler alongside former Canadian men's national team player Terry Dunfield. Canada wearing the black kit today. A couple signs of how dangerous Canada are in transition. That turned to that ball hanging up into the wind. It was blowing much more fiercely earlier. Larry with the layoff. Kyle David. 
from Canada. Nice turn from Pulisic. He's been at it this afternoon. How about the tenacity from Richie Larray? He just wanted it more than Robinson. It's an interesting duel down the right-hand side for Canada. Larray is not going to run away from Robinson. He might have to use a little bit of guile. Look to combine to get to the end line. U.S. Men's National Team quarter kick coming up here in the 14th-third. is number four of the game. Kenny's influence just starting to grow in the game a little bit. It's difficult to defend because you want to get close to him. You don't want to allow him to start controlling the tempo of the game with his passing. But if you get too close, he can drop his shoulder and go past you. Great awareness from Kay and Vittori to deal with that quick, long throw. Pulisic to take in swinging quarter kick. Goes near post. Knocked on. Borea with a big touch. Too strong for Alistair Johnson, but what a save that is. Little time to react. Quickly gets that right glove up in the air. We saw him go either side against Honduras. This time, he goes straight up and makes a huge save. Gives the entire stadium an absolute lift with that save. Dropped early as Kyle Laren becomes the top goal scorer in Canadian men's national team history. The ball caught up into the wind. It was David to Laren into the back of the net. Canada did well to hold on to the lead, and of course, it had to be one and once again another top notch save by Milan Borian. Through 45 minutes in Hamilton, Ontario, it's Canada 1, United States 0. Well, Canada's halfway there. They lead the U.S. men's national team 1-0 through 45 minutes. The sun just starting to set. And now it's about this Canadian team sustaining. They need to maintain that level of energy. Kick for kick, stride for stride. They've been up for it today, Terry. This match, though, so far has had a little bit of everything. What's going to be important here for the next 45 minutes? I think one of the biggest positives, the U.S. have had 64% of the ball, but they have yet to create a clear opportunity in open play. I think the back four of Adekubi, Adekubi Miller, Victoria, and Alistair Johnston have managed the front three of the U.S. really well. I think the midfield four of Lorea, Osorio, Mark Anthony Kay, and Buchanan need to really get to grips of that midfield and start winning that battle like they did up until that goal. But where I think Canada have the biggest advantage is the front two. Laren and David have been an absolute handful for the U.S. back line. Kenny with that spin. There goes Jonathan David. He's off. He's pulled back. Stays on his feet. He's still going. David out to Laren, that was incredible. Laren still on it, across, just this David. What a duo and attack, they almost made something out of nothing. It was two versus seven. The front two for Canada on fire. How about that for hold up play from Jonathan David? Game a little bit stretched, searching ball, McKenney somehow keeps that in. What a play by Weston McKenney. Pulisic. Johnson to the shadow all game. Big switch to Barcelona's desk. Buchanan sticks him right there. Foul on desk. Frustration ensues. 
is Buchanan getting the best out of Dest and letting him know. Not bad for one of your most attacking players. Barcelona man Dest, 1v1 versus Tejon Buchanan. Tejon says, what have you got? Well, just pick my moment and win the space. Thank you very much, foul. Top defending. And this is why John Herbert can trust him now. And he's got that nastiness to him. He's got a little bit of bite as well. But John Herbert can trust him in a big game like this. Not only can he attack, Buchanan can defend. Fraser comes in too, wheels with tons of confidence. What a pass that was to Jonathan David in Honduras. And I think the difference between him and Mark Anthony K is Leon Fraser will protect space and shift side to side. Where K really wants to lock on defensively to players. fit Kamal Miller steps out and gets that. Triple change actually going to be made as Ricardo Pepe gets set as well. So the referee didn't allow the change, so it's still 11 v 10. Lorena taken down from behind. Free kick coming up for Canada. Again, great work from Jonathan Osorio to win possession back and find Richie Lorea who then does well to win the space, get in front of Weston McKinney, the Juventus man. So the Acosta for Adams change, that's confirmed. Day is done for Zardes, just a move that simply didn't work out. And a young prodigy, Ricardo Pepe. Look out, coming onto the field here in the 69th. Aaronson, no goal this time against Canada. Jordan Morris, he replaces Aaronson as well. So Adams, Zardes, Aaronson make way for Acosta, Morris, and Pepe. Free kick time for Canada. Atakubi and Osorio over this. The left foot about Akubi had eyes on target. Instead of playing that ball across, what do you make of that decision? Confident. He'd seen something at the near post. Kind of had five or six lined up at the back post. Might have been better. Just feeling it into a dangerous area towards that back post. Jonathan David with space. Turner knocks down Larry. What a stop by Turner. That's a match saving stop. From the American goalkeeper, Matt Turner, spilled the rebound. Laren pounced. Turner to the rescue. Saved his own blushes. Yeah, it felt like the Mexico goal all over where Alistair Johnson hits a pile driver from 30 yards out, and Laren's onto it. Canada's press is good. Quick turn from David. Look at Laren, he's right onto it. And he just gets his left leg up. Really, he should hold it, Turner. We're well into the minuses here in Hamilton. He's got some cold hands, and Laren just can't quite lift it over top of him. That would have been massive. What an opportunity. Second change for Canada coming up here in the 73rd. Well, Laren's done his job. 23 Canada goals. And a big one here today. He comes off to a standing ovation from the Sea of Red. He's replaced by another player for Brampton, funny enough, in Junior Hoyland, here to try to seal this game. It seems like a whole lot more, doesn't it? Just Herdman issued the rallying cry after the Honduras went on Thursday night, saying, you know what? I have no question the 12,000 are going to sound like 30. The Canadian support have played their Role. They welcome the team with flares and confetti, and there's tailgates all around the stadium. Real special feel here today. 
Pulisic, overlap, look out, Robinson, across, Borjan takes care of that. It's a big ass for Victoria. So this Canadian center back, he can't quite get there with young Pepe. This is the spaces the U.S. will look to exploit. Ufo will cover some ground. Here we see him doing it already. Contacts, no call. Buchanan had a chance. Robinson's quick, got back in time. But this is going to be a problem as Richards remains down for the U.S. They've used all their changes. I see what the referee Ramos is doing. He plays an advantage. It doesn't quite play out. And then the U.S. are the other way. Probably in that moment, you take the foul. Just too quick for a move, Bo. It's an awkward run. Maybe turns his ankle. He actually came through and kicked the bottom of the cleat of E.K. Ukbo, and his leg just got stuck on this artificial service. I mean, this is a big problem for Greg Berhalter. If Richards can't continue, the U.S. will be down to 10 men. Wells on it a little bit. Upo fresh off the bench. Beats him to it. And if it's not for Robinson's recovery pace, Buchanan's through. Well, Richard's putting on a brave face. If he's really struggling, you put him up top. Well. Another long throw by McKenney. Fraser heads that clear. Weston with another chance. Double team comes. Larea committed too much. McKenney weaving, tries to spin. Fraser was there. Well, Larea thought the foul was going to come. It came off Larea last. Another chance for that long throw. Knocked on, look out, ball it's loose. That's a big block by Anakubi. Ariola had a strike. Sacrifice, commitment by the Canadian defender. Ball back in, it's Fraser who heads clear. Ufo with a chance. Not taken. Frantic stuff, ball knocked down. Come on, Miller pops it up. Acosta. Morris to McKenney. Back in the area, it's loose. Ariola bicycle, he missed. What an effort that was. Shouts for outside. Didn't have to be, but it was his only option, the audacious, and it almost came off for the American. Yeah, it was three or four phases of football. Added Kubis, some stellar defending at the back post. Is it offside? McKinney just puts it into a dangerous area. Potentially would have been called back. It is acrobatic. With Far now brought into CONCACAF World Cup qualifying, there is the capabilities if that does go in. Richards isn't coming back on, Terry. Richards is limping across the touchline. So the U.S. is going to be down to 10 players, but they came so close. Well, things continue to get spicy down there on the field. Buchanan's going to go into the book here in the 88th. How about the defending in the back post from Atacubi? <laughs> Morris gets past Lorea. It's going to be called back. Important one. Morris is hard to stop once he gets going. What's going through the players' heads right now is at this stage, you can start to feel it. You can start to see the finish line, but it's so important that you don't think like that, that you stay on task. You continue to keep living in the moment, exactly what this group is doing. Borean, the honorary mayor of Hamilton, throwing up his arms and the crowd responds. It's time for everyone to dig deep. Hoyland. 
as Robinson stumbled. Look out through the legs of Acosta. Hoyland has Adekubi wide open. Adekubi! Close. Hoyland was like messy. How many players would have just felt it in behind the opposition back line? So silky. And audacious from Adekubi to take that on. to take. He goes long, Tasporian. He was up for it. You gotta do more to beat Milan on the form that he's in right now. Form of his life. Almost lets Canada off the hook there. Absolutely. Nice disguise. And Akubi. Smart. Miller can play this long now, Adekubi in behind. The ball holds up, he's gonna take it himself! Sam Adekubi in a lane! Adekubi! Handsome, courageous, it's another 2-0. Canada, they lead, they're going to win this and take the full points. When you think it's not possible, Canada find another level. Fantastic football, and Adek Kubi with the nation behind him comes through 1v1, and he just strokes it into the bottom corner. Like it's a training session. Adekubi's first for Canada. Can you believe it? They do. Red, white, and freezing cold. Oh, Canada. Oh, baby, another famous victory and another big step forward in the quest for Qatar. are shocked, they're stunned, but for Canada, this is nothing new, this is what they're all about, the Brotherhood believes, still undefeated through 10 games, top of the table, the tickets are booked, but the reservations are about to be made. Terry Dunfield, Canada soccer has come a long, long way. You spent so much time playing, representing this country. I see the emotion oh, all over your face. What are you feeling right now? It's pinch me time. It's incredible. It's been such an incredible ride. And it just went to another gear. No Davies. No Eustachio. No longer an underdog. The U.S. know all about Canada. We're in their crosshairs, and then we come out with a performance like this today. With those moments of quality, and then to back it up with that kind of defending, and then to see a country come behind this team. I'm just so proud, man. 
Canada continues to march on. It's more than beyond. We're bent, but don't break. This is something special. And Canada with a chance to qualify for Qatar on Wednesday night.